Now you'll remember that any phaser can be written either in polar form or as a complex number with real and imaginary part. And as a complex number, it is also known as rectangular form because graphically it can be located using x and y coordinates in the plane. Okay, so for example, we have root 3 plus j in rectangular form is equivalent to 2 at 30 degrees. Let's see why that's true. Okay, so in rectangular form, I have root 3 there, and then j, or 1 on the imaginary axis and that gives me a right triangle with legs root 3 and 1. Okay, so we know to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle we need to do square root some of the squares and so calling this length r we have r squared is equal to 1 squared plus root 3 squared. So r squared is equal to 1 plus 3, r squared is equal to 4, therefore r is equal to 2. And now if we'd like to find this angle, theta, Probably the easiest way to do it is to use the inverse sine. We know that sine of theta is equal to 1 over r, in this case 1 over 2, and therefore theta is equal to the inverse sine of 1 half. Okay, so inverse sine, one half, the answer is 30 degrees. Okay, so we see that the rectangular form root 3 plus j is equivalent to the polar form uh, 2 at 30 degrees. Okay, let's do another example now. Have to convert 5 plus J3 to polar form. Okay, so this time we have 5. our phaser. Okay, so we'd like to find length r and the angle theta. Okay, so again we know r squared is equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared. So r squared is 25 plus 9 or 34. So that means r is equal to root 34. And I don't happen to know what root 34 is offhand, so we'll find it on the calculator. Root 34 is approximately 5.83. Approximately 5.83. Okay, and now to find the angle, probably the easiest way is to use the inverse tangent. We have tangent theta is three-fifths, so that means that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of three-fifths. Okay, 
inverse tangent, three fifths. And the answer is about 31 degrees. 31 degrees. Okay, and it is sketched out here in the notes. Okay, now going back the other way, um, we want to convert, we like to be able to convert uh, a phasor in polar form to rectangular. Okay, so let's draw this picture now. There's a phasor and it has length 5 and then we have an angle here which is 36.87 degrees. And we'd like to find the rectangular form, which means that we need to know this distance here, x, and this height here, y. Well, we know that the sine of 36.87 degrees is equal to y over 5 from the definition of the sine. And therefore, y is equal to 5 times the sine of 36.87 degrees. Well, that's easy to find. Right? You just do that on the calculator. And also, we know that the cosine of 36.87 degrees is equal to x over 5. So that means that x is equal to 5 times the cosine, 36.87 degrees. So let's work out what each of those are. 5 times the sine, 36.87. And the answer is 3. And then x is 5 times the cosine, 36.87. And the answer is 4. And of course we know that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, so that provides a little check. And again it is sketched out here in the notes. So the answer is 4 plus J3, rectangular form.